Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you don't know where I am, my name is Joana and I've been traveling around Europe for the past few months and currently I'm living in the city of Barcelona and today is just another amazing day to visit the cities. I'm already done, so let's go do some more exploring. So, just left the subway, it's so hot today. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to say where we're going today. So today is Saturday and I read that uh, the National Museum of Art of Catalonia, which I think in Spanish they shorted to MAC, uh, the museum is free on Saturday after 3 p.m. So I thought it'd be like so cool to visit because I've been like many, many years ago, but I don't remember much. And I remember it being in a very cool area. I think it's in the beginning of Mount Montric, which is basically like this little mountain on Barcelona with a lot of like green parts. And just left the subway, I left in the Plaza de Espanha Square, which is super cool, it's where the arena is. Yeah, it's just like a very cool square. And yeah, I think now it's just like two minute walk to the Menac. So in the beginning of the square, you have like these huge two towers in the Plaza de Espanha. And just right in the end, you can see the Menac, which is huge. coming to like the first level of the Mnac, which is huge as you can see like it's right up there the magical fountain of Montreux I think this is how we call it around 8 or 9 p.m. which we're gonna totally gonna see it has like a light show music which of like water exploding with sounds and colors and lights and it's just a great show I remembered it from like five years ago so definitely gonna see that later and now just have to climb all the way to the Mnac just so you are aware of the, how many stairs there are Still a, still a few. I think these columns are like super cool. They give it like another like atmosphere to the museum. All of a sudden, as I'm starting to climb the stairs, the fountain just turned on. It's so cool. This is like super cool, like the more close you get to the neck, it gets prettier. Look at this water fountain. How cute is this? So pretty. Oh my god. It's amazing. Okay, and I'm getting full of water, but it's kind of refreshing because it's super hot. I'm not gonna lie, I just did like a 10 minute photo session just uh, by the waterfall. But it's just such a cool spot to take a photo. And I think if I remember correctly, I have a photo of me in the same spot like four years ago or something or three years ago so I'll, if I find it I'll put it here just so we can like compare oh my gosh the amount of sun Ooh. let's try to get in Just in the beginning of the museum, you have like this little map it shows like what you can see. So mostly it's like medieval and Renaissance and also a little modern art. Okay, so basically in this main hall where you come in, four directions where you can go. So you have like medieval Gothic, Renaissance, modern art. So I think we're going to start with medieval romantic. So basically this room is just like a bunch of remains that are fragmented of Roman art through all of the room scattered, which is so beautiful and the colors are just like red and blue it's very nice because it's straight on the wall so a very cool thing is basically have like seems like little chapels made of wood and inside we have like the paintings but from the outside there's like a very weird shape so i think it's super cool to comment like the technique that's needed to transfer this because all of these wall uh, paintings uh, they put like some type of like special glue and with very carefully they take it out and then they put another type of glue on the wall in the museum and then they transfer it so it's a very careful process and a very complicated one So these paintings here in this mural describe the conqueror of Majorca by James I in the 13th century. So you can see like the siege of the city and a few battles, which is 
super nice. So every painting we're seeing right now, every mural, basically from the 14th or 15th century. It's also all of them are painting here in Catalonia, which was before the Kingdom of Aragon. And everything is just like so colorful. And obviously everything is uh, religious themed because at that time, uh, most of the paintings were obviously about religion and commissioned by the church and the nobles. Oh my god, the paintings on this tome is amazing. I think they are made by Joan Miró. And this used to be the end room of the king's chambers. And it's amazing, like the tones of blue, it's super pretty. Now modern art, here we go. So now I think we're just entering like the Impressionism, Modernism area, which I gotta say it's like my least favorite part, but well, let's still appreciate it. And I just entered this little room and this is about the flyers and the arts during the civil war against the fascist regime here in Spain. We just finished seeing like the whole museum and I think it took like about like one hour and a half. And yeah, I really like the museum itself. I wouldn't say it's like the most memorable museum I've been because I've been to a lot of museums. Uh, but it's very nice. I think if you're here, just you should check it out. Especially like if you come on the first Sunday of every month on Saturday after three, because it's already free. Now I'm just like on the stairs because I think you can go to the rooftop of the building and get like even better views. So I'm currently climbing the stairs, and yeah, let's see like the view from the rooftop. So all of that green hill is the rest of Montjuic, which definitely going to explore maybe I don't know next week. So stay tuned for that. So there is the big um, antenna of Barcelona and there is the Olympic Villa, which you're going to see next. This rooftop is just amazing. How many domes and cupolas. Also get like such a good view of the city. You can see there in Sagrada Familia. That little mountain there. In the end, that's TV Dub, which we, which we're probably gonna see someday. The problem is, one thing I didn't notice is how high I really am right now. Um, and now that I've noticed, like, I'm kind of like fear of like heights. Um, so, yeah, a little shaking up right now. But that's fine, just don't look down. Me saying as I immediately look down, but yeah. So, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, we're quite high. And we're just basically not, like walking on this little thing. Yeah, that's the exit, so let's sprint. <laughs> okay, these views are just amazing. It's like 360 degree view, so you can see all of Barcelona. It's just amazing. So just left the rooftop and as you can see already back outside. And it's still so hot. I was like expecting since it's already like six that like it wouldn't be so hot. But no, yeah, I think it's still the same or even more. And now I just left the Mnac and I think now I'm gonna go try to see the Olympic Stadium and the whole like part, because they say it's very nice. So, and it's just right here, it's like five minute walk. So this was the place where the Olympic torch was lighted up in the games of 92. So this huge wild building, it's the Palau Jordi, which I think it's the arena where occurs like concerts. So the walk through the Olympic Stadium, it's very cute, surrounded by this green, honestly, very relaxing, very cute. Just been basically walking around the Olympic Stadium. So the Olympic Stadium and the whole villa was built 
at the same time as the NAC for the 1929 International Convention and then it was later used and renovated the Olympic Games of 92. Since then it's just like a stadium that's used for many events such as like football games and things like that. But yeah, it's quite big because I've been walking for a long time and I still don't see the end of it. So, so now we just want to keep walking around the stadium and I think we're going to walk down to the um, uh, communications tower. Uh, the like big white one that you can see from all of Barcelona because I see it from my house. I think it's like five minutes somewhere here, near here. So it's about 40 minutes until the um, light show in the fountain starts. So I think I'm just gonna head back to the MNAC, which is like 10 minutes walking. And I think I'm just gonna sit in the bench, eat some food and just enjoy the views and just, yeah, just rest my feet because they are, <laughs> they're in a, like a new level of pain. And yeah, I'm super excited for the light show. The last time I saw it was like five years ago or something. And that's a long time. I don't remember really well, but I remember I was like blown away. So I'm super excited. So, left the magic fountain, oh my god, it was so much better than I was thinking. It was a full hour, I was thinking it was like 15 minutes, it was a full hour in the colors and like the water was like coordinated with the songs, we had like a lot of like the classical like a bit songs and then we also had like a few like classical ones, we had a few songs from maybe like the 80s, we also had a few like Portuguese uh, fado which was super cool and songs about Lisbon so it was super cool and it does feel like a concert, everyone's like singing along and dancing and drinking beer and yeah, it's just like the most amazing experience yeah, i think i'm gonna leave the video here hope you enjoy it so much i just had the best day and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next video in barcelona <laughs> bye